Wagon Wheel is a really fun song to play, but you may find this sign at some of your local jams, and that's because along with Rocky Top, Foggy Mountain Breakdown, this is one of those songs that perhaps is too often requested. But at the same time, I would encourage you to learn it because it is fun and you may find yourself swimming in money from your tip jar. The song is most closely associated with the band Old Crow Medicine Show. Their fiddle player, Ketch Secor, wrote the song, although he got the original idea from a bootleg tape of hearing Bob Dylan sing what amounts to the chorus. In this video, we'll give you four ways to play the backup to the song. It's a groove song, so having different ways to play the backup going all the way from very simple to fairly complex is really helpful. And then we'll put together a Scrug style solo. On the original Old Crow recording, there is no banjo solo. So we'll give you one so that you can continue the jam on into the wee hours of the morning. The original recording is in the key of A. It is most often played in G at many local jams, but should you need it in the key of A, just take what you're learning here and put your capo on at the second fret. Here are the chords to the song. It's an eight measure progression that plays over and over. The verse and the chorus each play through this group of chords two times. When you're soloing, therefore, you would also play your solo through two times. Even if you're fairly new to banjo, you can play along on this song. Just think simple chords, and we'll use a simple right hand pattern. So you've got your open G chord. When you go to your D chord, let's keep it simple. Use fingers one and two. Some beginners mistakenly think they can use a D7. It will not work in this case. So fingers one and two on frets two and three for your D chord. When you go to your E minor chord, use fingers two and three. And then the next chord is C, so you'll just need to add your first finger. In its simplest form, the right hand pattern would be to play string four, followed by pinching strings one and two, string three, pinch one and two. That's four beats. One, two, three, four. He would do that for each measure. Notice that I'll bring my right hand up towards the neck to mellow out the tone of my backup. So here is the simple backup, basic chords, simple right hand pattern. Rock. familiar with the concept of using closed movable chords then you'll want to do your chords like this so your G chord is known as the F shaped G chord try to move fingers 3 and 4 back without lifting them as you go to your D when you come up to this E minor you try to slide your pinky into place and get your other four other three fingers now as I go to my C chord, I'm going to bar that with my third finger. And I do that because it comes back to G, it makes it a little bit easier. The right hand pattern for this is going to be to play the thumb on the fourth string, pinch strings three, two, and one. And right after you do the pinch, you lift your left hand fingers, dampening them. This gives you your boom chick sound. Here now is the rhythm played in Boom Chick style. Rock Wagon Wheel 
definitely a groove song. You'll notice people singing along when they hear the song. They're also swaying to the music. With that idea in mind, we can fancy up our basic boom chick rhythm and give it what I call boompa chicka. And that is a series of eighth notes, two thumbs, two pinches. So it's boompa chicka. Usually, when before I'm changing chords, I'll just do a quarter note. Here now is the rhythm performed with Boompa Chicka. For this next backup, it's just the idea of showing you what's possible. And it's being played up here between frets 5 and 10. So you've got a G chord here, D chord here, simple E minor chord, C chord. And then the second time through I go G, D, C. So I'll play through this slowly just so you can get an idea of how it's done. If you're more on the beginning side, just keep this in mind for later on in your playing. One, two, three, four. play this back up again up to speed with the vocal so you can hear how the parts fit behind the vocal. to the solo I've created. It's in Scruggs style. The very first lick is a common Earl Scruggs lick. And here I'm trying to recreate what the vocal is singing on the chorus. The verse is a lot busier so the chorus is a little more sparse, easier to make a Scruggs style solo. So here's the first few measures of the solo. After I do the opening measure, Simply hold the 2nd fret of the 3rd string for your note that will go against the D chord. Do a forward roll. When you go to the E minor chord, all you need to hold is the 2nd fret of the 1st string. Bring in your 2nd finger at the end of the measure there. Hold that into the C chord measure. The second four measures begins with a 2 to 5 slide on the fourth string. Performing a forward roll, you keep that forward roll going into the next measure, eventually putting your third finger down on the fourth fret. And the first two notes of the C chord you're playing open, then you add the C chord. notes you start over you play it all the same when you get to the C chord the second time just gives you a more final ending 
To convince you that the solo is trying to mimic the melody, I will attempt to sing it while I'm playing this solo. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. You may have noticed that I'm playing this solo with a little bit of a swing to it. Instead of just straight. So that's just something you just kind of play by feel, get the feel for how to put that in there. We'll close out by performing this solo with a backing track. You'll also see the tab scrolling across the screen as I'm playing it. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to this channel. There's tons more great videos. And I hope you have a good time and see lots of money in your tip jar. Thank you.